So first thing we need to do is to remove the door panel. So first remove this panel. There's two screws here, one screw here, one screw under this cover right here. And then there's one more screw in front of the handle right here behind this cover as well. So after removing all the fasteners, now we need to pull the door panel away from the door. So you're gonna take a long flathead screwdriver, stick it underneath the door, just like this. Stick the entire screwdriver inside and basically just pull the screwdriver towards you and then the door panel will pop off like so. Once you pop the door panel off, then pull the whole door panel up and it should fall away from the door. And now you will need to disconnect the door handle See, it has these clips right here. And then you also need to disconnect the uh, door lock switch connectors as well. Now we're going to test the door lock actuator, which is right here. Now we're gonna test the door lock actuator. So take a T-pin and stick it into this red wire here on the connector, and then find a good ground on the door, which I use by attaching to the door metal itself. Now I reconnected the door lock master switch uh, back to the vehicle so I can actuate the lock and see what voltage reading we get. So now press the door lock switch and if it goes anywhere near 12, in this case it went for 11.3 and the door lock actuator doesn't do anything, you have a bad door lock actuator. So let's go ahead and replace it. So to start, take out this Phillips here, these three Phillips on the edge of the door. I also have to take out that connector and this 10 millimeter here on the bottom and also remove this door film as well. So I'm going to show you the best way to remove the door film. I basically get a, a small razor blade and cut on the black uh, adhesive. Do not cut the film. If you cut the adhesive, then you can put the film back just like factory. If you cut the film, then it's going to be torn to shreds and it's not going to look great when you're done. Then you're going to remove this clip right here. And then we're going to go ahead and take off these three Phillips on the outside of the door. Um, be prepared for a fight here because these are very tight. And if you're not careful, uh, you can strip it and now it's, this just became a four hour job, unfortunately. So be careful, take your time, don't strip these screws. If you happen to have a Phillips impact drive, then you can go ahead and use that. Uh, be careful, you don't want to put too much force into it because it can't bend the door. But this is kind of a last resort method. Now I'll do this 10 millimeter to pull the window run channel out of the way. Just pull it down, as you can see here it is. Just wiggles and you can pull it down out of the way. Slide the metal section down from the rubber section and then just hang it up right here. And now we can gain access to the door lock actuator itself. Now we need to take this metal arm off. Uh, it has a small retainer, plastic retainer on it. Um, I'm using a plastic rivet removing tool to take it off. Make sure not to damage the plastic uh, retainer. I'm um, not really sure if you can get another one. So again, be very careful with that retainer as I'm doing this video. <laughs> now we need to go to the lower section of the door lock actuator and remove this plastic retainer that contains a cable for the door lock cylinder on the outside of the vehicle. It simply just pulls right off. See, you can see it here. Once you remove that, you can pull the door lock actuator cleanly out of the car. And this is what it looks like outside of the door. So now we're going to disassemble the dock actuator and transfer the cables to the new one. Now we're going to remove the cables from the inside of the door lock actuator. We're going to remove this bottom one first. So pull it out of the bracket and then wiggle it out of the lever. For the top one, just remove this holder and take it out of the bracket. It's pretty simple. So now we have the new one. Go ahead and install the holder into the top cable and then the bottom cable. Go ahead and reinstall that, put the bracket back in and then we'll put the cover back on. Put the retaining screws back on, and then we will be ready to reinstall this thing back into the car. So now we're gonna maneuver the door lock actuator back into the door, uh, get it to where it's going to be. So first we need to get that uh, metal rod back into the door handle. So let's go ahead and do that first. So install it into the hole and then move the keeper onto it. It should snap in pretty easily. Now we will install the cable for the actual key outside of the door. So that you just slip it in there and push this retainer onto the end of the door lock actuator. You should feel it click in. Now we're gonna reinstall the guide for the window. So go ahead and push this metal guide back up into its slot. And then we go to the outside of the door, line up the hole and reinstall the bolt. 
All right, so before closing the door, let's go ahead and check our work. So use a small screwdriver to uh, act like the door is closed. So now it's in the closed position. Go ahead and pull the door handle and you should see it pop out just like it did. And then go ahead and do it from the outside of the door. Same thing, popped out. And we know we're ready for a reinstall. So now we're all done. Go ahead and throw the door panel back on and tighten up all the screws. And that's it. So now we got the door lock in. We got the door panel back on. Uh, everything looks good. The door lock actually works perfect. Now we're good to go. All right, if this video helped you out, Please like and subscribe.